these patients are just, they're inspiring. Um, even, I think if you, you look at the journeys they've been on, each of them have been critically unwell and have um, stared their own mortality in the face. And they've come to a place now where they're riding coast to coast. So we've been doing this for now over three years, meeting regularly, cycling increasingly long and challenging distances, and this of course is the, you know, the ultimate example of that. Hello. Right, go. Great. Go. <laughs> Just wear a vest like this, two pockets so you can wear the controller either side if you want but I prefer to put them in my trousers when I'm cycling so that it doesn't affect your stomach because right about here is where the, uh, where the cable goes in and passes up towards your aorta about there um, where, where, the, where the actual device is sitting and pumping away uh, four, and a, four and a half litres of blood a minute quite impressive actually just uh, just what this equipment can do my left ventricle in my heart has failed completely and that's why the device was fitted so that it could do all the work that the left ventricle normally does which is pretty much everything the right one's quite lazy really by comparison <laughs> I think this ride is a couple of things. It's the first multi day event I've ever done. It's the sort of thing that even a year ago I would have probably said no way. I wouldn't have considered myself a heart attack victim case. Um, no family history, so the whole thing came to me as a complete, literally bolt out the blue. The heart attack was a bank holiday Monday. I was climbing with my son in North Wales, a place called Penarolwyn. We completed the climb stroke scramble, got to the summit, taken some nice photos and uh, just had this massive pain in my chest where I thought I'd been shot or stabbed. And then my son thought he came back, found us and then we kind of had a process of contacting Mountain Rescue, we had helicopters, 10 Mountain Rescue teams and it took them nine hours in total to get me into a hospital having carried me for five hours and it was half an hour in the helicopter, an hour by ambulance. And it was probably because I was just relatively fit and healthy that I actually survived the heart attack. Um, so the paramedic that dealt with me on the mountain said that she thought I would be within a body bag within an hour or two. I'm incredibly lucky to A, the mountain rescue, which you'll see a little logo on the back of your bike and uh, the NHS and the medical people that have, I guess, put me back together, not quite in a way that I would like, but you know, they've put me back in a fashion so that I can do what I'm doing today.
as a family because we've seen him come from like a dark place to now like it's inspired us like sometimes days when we're feeling like a bit rubbish or whatever something's happened you're like oh we'll just look at dad he's someone that's so full of life and he's got so got so much to give and um, to be here and to be cycling, I mean, three days in a row, a hundred miles, just is is absolutely incredible. So I feel so proud of him, like so so proud. <laughs> Hello everyone. Hello. 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 H